Let's see 12 step procedure for creating booking in Galileo. First step is encoding the city names. So I'm encoding .ce Delhi. So code is DEL. Then I'm encoding New York. So I get the city code New York. So once I've noted down my city codes, I'm going to throw availability from Delhi to New York. So once availability is displayed, the next step is selling the seat. So I'm selling the seat in line number three, which is United Airlines. If return itinerary also needs to be booked, then we can display return. So sell seat for return also, which is counted as one step itself. Next add name of the passenger. Next add telephone number for the travel agent. Next, add the ticketing time limit, which is meant for you only, for the travel agent only. Next is reference, followed by saving the PNR. So once the PNR is saved, you can display the fares. So FQBB is going to give me the best buy fare. If you like the fare, then the next step is holding the fare, which I can hold the fare by using FQBBK command. So now my fares are filed. I can see on my left hand side, I have got the tab of star FF. Let's save this fare first. Next step is adding the ticketing modifiers. There are four ticketing modifiers which you need to add to issue the ticket. The first ticketing modifier is form of payment. So I've added TMU1FS. Second ticketing modifier is form of commission, which is Z0. Third, Modifier is endorsement and restriction element. For this, I'm typing NRF, I mean non-refundable. This is a free flow text here. The fourth ticketing modifier is your issuing airline code, which gets added automatically. So we don't need to add it now. So once I've added this, ideally, I can go to issue the ticket, which is TKP. So once the ticket is issued or before you have issued the ticket, you need to pass on the contact information to the airline, which we can pass on in the service information. SI.P1, .P1 means passenger number one, SSR, CTCM, which means contact mobile number. You want to send to United Airlines, you are sending confirmed information and the mobile number. If you wish to send email ID as well, then we can send to the same format, CTCE, send it to United Airlines, confirmed information for one passenger, where HK means confirmed, one means one passenger, typing the email ID, saroj.kinger at the rate gmail.com. Instead of at the rate in GDS, we use double slash. The next mandatory element is sending the passport details to the airline as we are making a ticket for Western Hemisphere from Delhi to New York, New York back to Delhi. So it's mandatory to add the passport information in the PNR. SI.P1.SSR as passport information is counted as a document information. So docs, as you're sending information to United Airlines, so UA, HK1, slash P, which means passport information. Then comes the issuing country code, which is IN India. Then comes your passport number. Then comes the nationality of the passenger. Here, passenger is Indian, so I'm typing IN. Then comes the date of birth of the passenger. Suppose date of birth of the passenger is 10 January 28. Then comes the gender of the passenger, F for female, M for male. Then comes the passport expiry date of the passenger, followed by the surname of the passenger as mentioned in the passport. Then comes the first name and enter. So now let's save all the information. And TKP command is going to issue the ticket for our booking. 